So I've got two examples of cubic equations that we may want to solve on our Casio ClassWiz here. So to do that, the Casio ClassWiz has its own uh, cubic solver inbuilt. So it's in the same place where you would find the quadratic one. So you go to menu and then you scroll down and again until you get to this row and you want A. OK, so the equation function, press equals on that. And then we want a polynomial of degree three because it's a cubic. So press two. So we want degree three. And then we're going to type in the first one. So the coefficients are one, three, minus x, so minus one. So I'm pressing equals after each one, and then minus three. OK, press equals. And the first solution is x is equal to minus three. Or press equals again, uh, one. Or equals to minus one. OK, so there are three solutions. Pressing equals will just get you back to the main screen. So let's try the second one. So I'm just going to change out. The only difference is that this one has a two rather than a one in front of the x cubed. So I'm going to put two in there. And everything else is the same. So I'm, so I'm just going to press equals again. And the first solution it's coming up with is x equals 0 0.901 to three significant figures press equals again and this time we are getting a complex number so um, if you're not doing further maths then these will be a little bit alien to you um, so what we've got is minus 1.2 plus 0.47 well let's uh let's go to three significant figures so 1.20 plus 0 0.47 uh two and that will be I. So if you keep scrolling, you should see this I on the end uh, for the imaginary number, uh, square root of minus one. Um, and if you go to the right, oh sorry, press equals again, uh, you'll just get the same thing, but with a minus. So plus or minus, because you get the complex conjugate. Now, further mathematicians will know what this is. Um, those just doing A-level maths won't. Um, what this means is that this is a cubic equation, a cubic curve, um, that is only crossing the x-axis in one place. OK, so, for example, just to kind of give you a flavor of what this graph would look like and what it's telling you. Is it would look something um, like this, for example, OK, where it's just crossing through at 0 0.901. Now, I can't be certain that that's exactly what it looks like, but that's just to kind of give you an idea of what the curve may look like. And it's just showing you that it's got one solution rather than uh, three solutions, as our first example did, which would mean it's crossing the x-axis in three distinct places.